On this video, we're going to be looking into fasted cardio for fat loss and answer the question of does it really help you burn more fat or is it just a myth? First, what is the theory behind fasted cardio? The idea is that when the body is in a fasted state, the low insulin and glycogen levels shift energy usage away from burning carbohydrates and focus that burning on the fat stores on our body. The general idea is that if you wake up and immediately perform cardio on an empty stomach, that you'll burn a lot of fat. This makes basic basic sense in theory, but does it hold any scientific weight? Here's what the research has to say about fasted cardio in six short points. Number one, fasted cardio and fat burning. One popular study in the British Journal of Nutrition showed that those performing cardio fasted burned 20% more fat than those who were fed. But hold on a second. In another study, we see that fasted cardio did not increase total fat burned in a 24-hour period. What gives? Well, while you may burn more fat during your exercise routine, this does not necessarily mean you burn more fat overall in your day. Caloric intake is always going to play a big part of your fat burning efforts. More on this in point number six. Number two, fasted cardio and your VO2 max. Those that do eat before training have a better VO2 max than those who train cardio in a fasted state. Because of this, it is likely you will be able to perform longer and harder workouts than those who are fasting. Number three, fasted cardio and fat oxidation. Those that train in a fasted state do show better fat oxidation and lipolysis. Lipolysis being the breakdown of fat cells for energy and fat oxidation being the burning of this energy by the cells. So those are good things. Number four, fasted cardio and your muscles. Another study showed the downside of performing fasted cardio that it may increase the rates of muscle breakdown. Since gaining muscle naturally is hard enough as it is, it's definitely something to keep in mind for those of you trying to ride the game train. Number five, fasted cardio and glucose tolerance. A 2010 study showed a 28% increase in glucose tolerance for those performing fasted cardio compared to a 2-3% to increase in the fed group. This is excellent because those with impaired glucose tolerance are at risk for insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes, and lots of other diseases you don't want in your life. If you do suffer from an insulin resistance related disease, I would recommend at least trying fasted cardio for this reason alone. Number six, fasted cardio and body composition. The final bit of research was cited by the Journal of Sports Nutrition and had some of the most compelling evidence. It showed that when you put test subjects on a calorie restricted diet, performing cardio fasted or not fasted had no impact on body composition. This makes sense. Just because you're not eating before training does not mean the immutable laws of energy have suddenly been lifted. You have to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight. Now you can probably see why there's a lot of debate around this topic. Lots of varying results and varying studies. Let's go through some questions and answers to break down the evidence a little further. Fasted cardio for fat loss. Does it work? Evidence shows it has some small positive effects, but it's likely not going to have any truly meaningful impact on your fat burning efforts. Even if you burn 20% more fat from your workout, that number is still so, so small compared to the total calories you consume in a day. It's likely you'll be able to pick up all those fat calories back in a single tablespoon of peanut butter. As always, diet is the most important important thing for fat loss by an astronomical margin. Should I do fasted cardio? Truth be told, it's going to be a lot of one's personal preference. Some people are going to love it and some people are going to hate it. It's one of those things that has some potential upsides and not a lot of real dangers, so if you do enjoy it, go for it. You do you. If I'm going to use fasted cardio, how should it be performed? In the morning before breakfast is the way these studies saw positive impacts, so I'd mimic what they did. If it's a tool you want to use, make sure to give your body at least two weeks to adjust to using it. Your body can adapt to fasted training, but studies show it may take some time. Shout out to Better Insight for suggesting this topic on one of our previous videos about omega-3s. If you enjoy this video, please hit the like button, and if you have any suggestions for the next video, we'd love to see it in the comments section. Section. And rumor has it, for every new subscriber we get, a litter of golden retriever puppies is born. So please subscribe to The Health Nerd for healthy tips and tricks, backed by science. If weight loss is something you're interested in, you can always check out our online e-course, The Science of Fast Weight Loss. You can see the results from some of our past clients on that page and people we have worked with personally. Links will be in the description and on this screen. Cheers!